Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Friends Automation Destination. So in our last lecture of Cucumber series, we discussed how to customize extent report, wherein we discussed various options of customization. In case you are already not gone through that particular video, I'll request you to please take a look on my previous video, which I'll be sharing in the eye icon. And today we are going to talk about another important topic that is how to attach screenshots. This is very important interview question as well. So in order to attach the screenshot, first of all, we need to take screenshot, then we need to store it somewhere. And at last, we need to provide the location where extent report will look for to attach the screenshots in the extent report. So to take the screenshot, there is a functionality available in Selenium. So we'll be utilizing the same. Though I'll be discussing how to take screenshot at high level, and to understand it at low level, I'll be creating a separate video for it under the Selenium series. Once we have taken the screenshot, next step is we need to store it somewhere locally. So for that purpose, we need to provide this particular parameter in the extent dot properties. So screenshot dot dir. And secondly, once after storing this screenshot locally, we need to provide the physical location so that physical location is provided using this screenshot dot relative path which is screenshot dot rel dot path right so this is how it works so let me jump on to the code now for practical demonstration so we are using the same example as like previously but this time i have added one more step wherein we are launching the google.com and in the search field i'm simply entering some text which is prince automation destination in this in this case and let us say we want to attach the screenshot at every step so what we will do we will utilize some concept of uh, cucumber hooks so in cucumber we have one hook that is after step and uh, here we can define one method so what after step will do it will execute after each step of a scenario so in this case we have two steps so it will execute after first step then we'll execute after second step meaning the control will come here right so we can utilize it so first of all what we'll do we will use take screenshot interface and let us provide some reference variable and simply what we will do we will typecast the driver uh, instance into the uh, driver object into the take screenshot so take screenshot is one interface um, which is used to take the screenshot so take screenshot dot get screenshot as this is the method and output type and let us say we want to store it in the form of bytes so we'll be using bytes only right and later we'll be discussing about how we can convert these bytes into the base 64 as well which is another way to store the screenshot or to attach, attach the screenshot right so let us first discuss about this as this is bytes so we can call it like byte array so let me give it name screenshot right now we have taken the screenshot how to store it somewhere right so as we just discussed we need to store it so in order to store it we need to provide this particular location first so how to provide that so i have kept it locally screenshot dot dir and screenshot dot relative path so i'm going here in extend properties and i'll simply copy paste these particular lines right and you see there is no screenshot folder as of now under this root so after this screenshot dot dir screenshots would be stored here but we need to make some changes in the code that we'll be discussing just now right because we have this is the location that we have provided now we need to redirect our screenshots right and this is the location where extent report will look for the screenshots right so we have taken the screenshot but we haven't directed redirect these, these screenshots to this particular extent so how we will do that so for that purpose we'll use scenario dot attach right so what is this scenario so this scenario is nothing this is one thing that we can pass as part of any hook right this is nothing but it would be the current reference of the scenario meaning whichever scenario is getting executed so in this case we are executing this particular scenario so it would be containing this particular scenario reference so we are going to attach screenshot to this particular scenario add that to in this particular step because we are attaching it after every step right so what I, what we will do we'll simply uh, so there are two methods in this scenario dot attach so let me show you the same so there are two methods one accepts spike as byte as first data and uh, byte array as first data i mean then media type name and second one is string right so we'll be talking mostly on this particular case so what we'll do 
as we have taken the screenshot in the form of byte we will pass it and now what is the media type let us say we name it like image png and let us say we want to store screenshot uh, with this name in the extent report meaning we want to attach screenshot with this name in the extent report now when we will run this particular test case let us see what what will happen So it will launch the Chrome, google.com and then we'll enter some text, Prince Automation Destination, right? Now you will observe that screenshot folder got created. So as we have two steps which got executed, so it has created two screenshots, right? And then after it would have attached it into the extent report. So let me show you the extent report now. I'm opening the extent report and going here, right? So you will observe uh, if I show you in the test case, so you'll observe that we are able to see the screenshots, right? So screenshot are attached at every step because we have uh, two steps executed, right? And we are attaching screenshot at every step. So this is how we attach screenshot at every step, right? Now, what is the significance of this particular parameter? So for example, if I want to provide this parameter, what will happen? So let me delete the screenshot folder as well. And let me delete the target folder as well. Right, and let me rerun this particular uh, test case once again. So it will create a screenshot folder. It will store the screenshots, but screenshot won't appear properly because we haven't provided the physical location. So you see screenshots are appearing and uh, when we go to extent report and let me open the extent report once again so closing the previous one and opening this one so when i will expand this you will see that images are appearing but they are broken so in order to attach it properly what we need to do we need to provide both the parameters and how it happened so when we do scenario dot attach so it will first look for this particular parameter scenario dot dir and store the screenshot on this location and then after it will look for this particular relative location for the physical screenshots to attach it into the extent report right so this is how we can attach the screenshot in the byte form secondly we'll discuss about how to attach screenshot in the base 64 so when we uh, execute a suit having more test cases so we will be adding more screenshots meaning we'll be taking more screenshots so this will have some memory concern so in order to deal with that we can uh, convert our screenshot in the form of base 64 in that case we don't not need to store it locally we can directly attach it into the extent report right so we, we have two options so extent dot reporter dot spark dot base 64 image src so whichever screenshot that we are taking will simply uh, make that image source as base 64 and that is what we are going to attach so what i'm going to do i'm going to extend properties i'm going to remove these sections because we don't require this anymore right i'm going to delete this target folder as well right so what we need uh, we need one parameter which is this parameter right and equal to uh true so when we'll make it true we don't need to make any other change right so what will happen so when the screenshot has been taken this extent report parameter what it will do it will simply convert this into the base 64 image source meaning the source of the image will be converted into base 64 and this time we won't need to provide the location physical locations so let me run it once again So when I will, so you see there are no screenshots stored locally, not even in target folder, right? There are no screenshots and there is no screenshot in root section as well. So I'm now going to open the extent report. When I will refresh this extent report, 
you will see the screenshot attached so we haven't stored them physically even then we are able to see them right so this is appearing because of thumbnail so what is this thumbnail option so extent provide one thumbnail option in the configuration file because we are already pointing to configuration file which we have just discussed in the last lecture in order for the customization now what i am going to do if we were for example we don't want the thumbnail for base 64 because we, we are using the screenshot in the form of base 64 let us say we don't want the thumbnail so what will happen let us see so let me show you the report this time this is refreshed automatically so you will see that we don't have thumbnail so as soon as we'll click on this we will get this so in order to enable the thumbnail so thumbnail is nothing but a generic template in which the image is inserted in the form of base 64 those so this is base 64 image right so when we will click on this we'll be able to see it so it's uh, better to make it true to keep keep the thumbnail option true so that we can directly see the images here where the base 64 images are inserted so let me rerun it i have rerun the program and will show you like how it is working again so test case got executed and let me show you so this time it is appearing thumbnail so as soon as we click on this we are able to see report so when we are not using thumbnail we'll simply get one logo uh, some sort of image minor image and when we'll click on that we'll see the report if we don't provide that uh, we, we don't make it as true then we'll directly see the images sorry if we don't make it as uh, if we make it as true then we are able to see the images right so this is how we can attach the screenshot in the form of base 64 as well right now so far we are attaching the screenshot on every step what if we want to store the screenshot on failure so this is what we'll be discussing now so i'll simply go to hooks section and this particular scenario right this provide the status if the scenario dot is failed if it is failed only then attach the screenshot so let me show you the same right so in this case the screenshot should not attach because every step is getting passed so let us see the same so test case got executed and extent report got refreshed as well so when i'll expand this so you see there is no screenshot right now let us intentionally make one failure so what i will do i will simply go here we'll make it as uh, intentional failure so assert dot assert true and i'm providing false instead of true now when i will run this particular test case the screenshot will attach for the failed step so let us observe the same so i'm running this test case So we are launching google.com and here itself the test case will fail and the second step will be skipped right so now when i see it from the extent report so we see failure so this is feature one feature we have executed in which we have executed one scenario which is failed we have executed uh, two steps one step passed one step failed and one is skipped right now this is what is this one step pass this is before hook right that's why it is showing right now when we come here so this particular step to got failed and on this particular step only the screenshot is attached so this is the same screenshot where the uh, where it got failed right and second step is skipped so this is how we can attach the screenshot on the failure right so let us quickly recap what we have covered so we discussed how we can attach screenshot in the byte form by providing screenshot.dir and screenshot.relative path and then uses of scenario load attach as well to store the screenshot on this particular directory and uh, directory and then later use it from this location then we discussed how we can um, avoid storage of the screenshots by converting the screenshot in the form of base 64 by providing this particular parameter uh, 
then we'll dis then we discussed how we can uh, provide some generic thumbnail for all the screenshots in case of base 64 so this need to provide it in the extent config.xml and at last uh, we discussed how we can attach the screenshot on failure so this is what i wanted to cover guys so i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again thank you